applications of indefinite integral equations in daily life. We have done the applications of differential equations in daily life. Now I'm gonna show you some applications of integrations in daily life. So first applications of indefinite integral equations in daily life. Indefinite integral is normally used to find the displacement, velocity and acceleration of an object. There is a complete section of indefinite integral in this course. If you still don't remember, go back and check indefinite integral section. Indefinite integral are the equations without specific limits. It has no definite limits. Normally we used integral equations to find the displacement, velocity and acceleration of any object, uh, whether it is car, a rocket in the space, an aeroplane traveling in the air, or any micro object, electron, proton. S stands for displacement and derivative of displacement equals to velocity. When I take derivative of S with respect to time, it equals to velocity and derivative of velocity equals to acceleration. Derivative of velocity, which is the second derivative of displacement, equals to acceleration. On the other hand, integral of acceleration equals to velocity and integral of velocity equals to displacement. You see here the derivative and integration play opposite rule here, where derivative of velocity equals to acceleration and integral of acceleration is velocity. Derivative of displacement is velocity, but integral of velocity is displacement. Keep this equation in mind. We're going to use them now. Working problem. A sports car at 5 meter with the acceleration 3t plus 1. What will be the velocity and displacement of the car at 6 seconds? What the statement says, the statement says that there is a sports car at displacement of 5 meters having acceleration 3t plus 1. We need to find the velocity and displacement of the car after 6 seconds. So let's do it. Solution. From the equation, velocity equals to integral of acceleration, where acceleration is 3t plus 1. Just substitute acceleration equals to 3t plus 1 here. Take its integration. Integral of 3t plus 1 equals to 3 times t square over 2 plus t plus c. This arbitrary constant will be 0 at the initial stage because time t is 0 initially. When I substitute t equals to 0, my value of c will be 0. Substitute c equals to 0 here. Uh, but what will be the velocity after 6 seconds? Simplify the equation, you will get 60 meters per second. This will be the velocity of the car after 6 seconds. Now to find the displacement of the car after 6 seconds. Displacement equals to integral of velocity, where v equals to 3 times t square over 2 plus t. Substitute v equals to 3 times t square over 2 plus t. Integral of 3 times t square over 2 plus t equals to 3 times t cube over 6 plus t square over 2 plus c. Substitute s equals to 5 here, initially, at t equals to 0, because it is the initial stage. When you simplify this equation, you will see will be 5. c is the arbitrary constant. So substitute c equals to 5 here, uh, but the displacement after 6 seconds will be 1, 3, 1. So this will be the displacement of the car after 6 seconds. Let me draw it graphically. This is the graph of 3d plus 1. At time, it is 3 and at y-axis it is 1. 